Hi, I'm Bob Carr with Carr's Rug Cleaning, and I want to show you today how we bring an old rug back to life. Let's take a look at this rug. It's an old bee jar, and that is called the Iron Rug of Persia, and uh, we'll see why. It's, uh, take a look at the rug here. It's uh, a good hundred years old. It's on a wool foundation. You know, a lady picked this up at auction and brought it to us, and uh, so we don't know what's in it. Uh, uh, but it does look like it's, it's, it's uh, been through the ringer here. Do, we do have some uh, wear areas which uh, can't really be corrected from a cleaning standpoint. You see we've got some uh, places here where the pile is uh, pretty much worn away. Uh, we've got some places on the fringe back here where it's torn. Some of this could be repaired if she chooses to do that. And we've got some tears on the edges down here. So we will have to be careful so we don't uh, make these any worse. And uh, we do have some things which uh, kind of first look like wear, but they're really not. Some really, this is a very hard, uh, not sure what this is, but this is a spots of some sort, gummy type stuff. So we'll see how that does in our cleaning. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, get the dry soil out of the rug. So. Let's start with that. Our first step in bringing this antique rug back to life, well, we've got to get the dry soil out of it. So we're going to start over here. Randall's going to operate this portable duster. And what this machine does is go across the back of the rug, vibrating it, and it knocks out a lot of the heavy, dry soil. And that's so important uh, to do. So we just run this machine back and forth across the rug, probably spend about so, five to ten minutes. Just like that. We'll go over the rug several times. Well, let's see how we did with this step. You can see that uh, Quite a bit of stuff has fallen out of the uh, top of this rug by vibrating the back. And just look at all of this coming out of there. Absolutely incredible. So this is part of what's lurking in this uh, rug. A pretty good sized pile right there. Now a lot of companies would, uh, in fact most companies, would stop at that first step. Either a portable duster or a mechanical duster. But let's take a look and see if there's anything else in this rug. So we're going to use compressed air. Well, would you look at that. Still a lot of dry soil left in this rug. Now this is the back of the rug. We'll do the back and then we'll turn it back over and do the front one more time. Absolutely incredible. You see how effective the uh, first machine was, but uh, at the same time, how much it left behind. Look at the clean line occurring when that compressed air passes across that surface. Kind of uh, cleaning it up all by itself. And remember, this is just the first step in the cleaning. 
Okay, we're ready for the next step in our wash process. As you remember, we've had two methods already to get out the dry soil. The compressed air was the last thing we did. You saw what came out there. Let's see what's still in the rug and see what comes out in our wash. So as we roll the rug out into our wash tub here, it's going to take it around. And what happens here is this paddle wheel that's turning around just gently agitates the water, keeps the rug swimming back and forth, and we'll probably leave this in here for maybe uh, 20 to 30 minutes because it was fairly soiled. We might even leave it for about 45 minutes to an hour. And we'll take a look here in a minute and see if the water is changing color on us and see, what's, see if we can tell what's still coming out of this one. Okay, it's time to pull the rug out now. It's been uh, swimming in the uh, bathtub here for about uh, 45 minutes. So you can see the water's uh, turned a little uh, murky, and that's all the soil that's coming out of the rug. So we'll go ahead and pull it out and go on to the next step. All right, the next step in our process is just rinsing off some of the excess soaps that are in here, and then we'll start the uh, drying process. All right, the next step of the process is let's uh, start the drying on this thing. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, put this soaking wet rug into our centrifuge here. What this does, it will, uh, in about three minutes time, we put a, it'll, uh, put a soaking, ro soaking wet rug in. Takes about three minutes to get all the water out of it. Let's take a look. Well, it's out of our centrifuge three minutes later, and it's just damp dry now. So dry, I can't put a paper towel against this and get any moisture to show. Uh, but uh, our final step here uh, is just the, uh, we'll groom the rug uh, to set the pile in the right direction, but as you can uh, begin to see, the uh, colors are really uh, starting to pop and, and really show the beauty and the character of this old antique rug. So here we are the next day with the finished product. And she is a real beauty. And the vibrancy of these colors have been restored they just pop out at you now. It's absolutely fantastic. But remember, it's the synergy of our whole system that allowed this to happen. From the dusting process, both using the mechanical duster as well as the compressed air, to time spent in our wash tub, and finally to the effect of the centrifuge, which aided in removing excess soils and moisture, have resulted in this fabulous rug coming back home.